We're heading up to Yerdeful Way. the moment many of you have been looking forward to. Welcome back to Thousands of Roots and the Kellogg Family Yurt. Let's go inside and take a look. Can I come inside? <laughs> While we're doing this tour, the guys are also working on solar system. <laughs> we're gonna get your full way set up with some power going on over here. Right, so that'll be in a future video. But for now, we are going to tour the yurt. One step at a time around the circle we're gonna go. <laughs> Welcome to our yurt. So we have, as soon as we enter the yurt, we have our yurtiful little kitchen here. Mm -hmm. um, pantry set up and all neatly organized when you have little space you just do what you can so yeah stuff as organized as we can get it we make a lot of use hanging things from the yurt rafters which is awesome for storage or hanging bags to store food in mm -hmm. so we have our kitchen set up and then moving on we have our kitchen sink so we were blessed with this sink that is finally, we used to use a bucket underneath and just have to dump the bucket a couple times a day to make sure the water didn't fill up there. But now this is actually has a hose attached to it and it drains outside. Nice. So that is a huge blessing and an right. upgrade for us. Right, <laughs> makes um, we, a big difference, huh? It does. We also have running water here through a sump pump. So. Yay. If we just, I have to just plug in down here into the extension cord and then I have running water. And that's provided that this is plugged into the solar or the generator. Right, and that's because the creek is just a couple right. feet so over. outside the creek is close enough that a hose runs right into it. So that's and the been a huge pump blessing. just pumps it right in here. Exactly. <laughs> the other side of the entryway is we have a storage tote here with the kids games in it, family games and everything. This is where they throw their dirty dishes. And mm -hmm. then here's Got our your water filtration, water station, water filtration for drinking and then water for washing and everything in the mm -hmm. blue. And then the cat's water is down below. <laughs> cool. And then the other side, this is kind of an extension of the kitchen um, going around is our hope chest that has storage of blankets and sentimental things. Right. And then our pots mm -hmm. and pans, kitchen items and bowls and dishes, mm -hmm. fruit basket, and Keegan's coffee supplies. <laughs> yes, gotta have the coffee. Very important to have off grid <laughs> coffee. So, um, from going back, this is the laundry station that we have set up. Mm -hmm. For the first few years living in the yurt and living off grid, I used this to do all of my laundry. And oh, this yeah. was my <laughs> great grandmother's washboard. Nice. The washboard that my grandmother washed all of my aunts and uncles' diapers on. And when I started living off grid, she said, You need to have this. So <laughs> my mom and she gave that to me, which was a huge blessing. But now this is wired as well, so that just plug it in and it works and use the hose from the sump pump and it drains outside now. So that's nice. another huge, no carrying buckets in and out or sitting hours scrubbing. Right. It's all set up here. So that's been a huge blessing. Mm -hmm. We have our little closet, closet area. area. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what needs to hang and then our minimalistic wardrobes are mm -hmm. neatly stacked. Blanket on the bottom because our very old cat likes to curl little, up. Little cat spot. <laughs> She's old and she's served her time, so she gets retirement now. Right. <laughs> and then here we have just a nice little display of, this was my grandmother's blue glass. And That's so pretty. That was really special to me to keep and to show. <laughs> so here we have our storage for towels and rags. 
And then children's clothes, they each have two shelves and they tend to get all of their clothes. It's a little messy, but that's because we let the children put their own clothes away and teach them how to fold their own clothes from an early age. So even the two and three year old put their own clothes away and we deal right. with the mess. <laughs> yep. Here's our bathroom setup. It's nice little privacy curtain. Yes, nice curtain. And they, bathroom changing room. They use composting toilet system just like we do. And then eventually there will be a, another shelf in there for organization and storage. So moving on, we kind of have our bookshelves. Um, some books here and then more books over here and stored in these each of these boxes has books which helps keep the dust off them That's as well nice. <laughs> and this here is what well, um, Owen's bedroom he has his mat and his bed his toy storage the yurt walls are great for kids toys <laughs> hanging up mm -hmm. lots of storage uses and then each of us have curtains around our beds to provide shade for nap times but also at bedtime for privacy and just sometimes they need to have their own space it closed off so mm -hmm. they each have curtains for that and we have curtains around our bed as well yep. this is actually a really big space right here um, I didn't realize how big it was. Yeah, it's, it's like it a, really almost a little. It up. <laughs> yeah, it's almost a little living room. It really it's, is. It's great. In the morning, um, one of our morning routine is after, either usually before breakfast, so it doesn't get messed up. But the bed gets folded up, our bigger bed, so it all folds up and it becomes our couch during the day. So the kids really hang nice. out and play on it. Story time. Exactly. <laughs> Whatever. It becomes a couch for our family and it opens up into our living space here. Mm -hmm. And we have our table where we eat our meals. It has some nice storage underneath the tablecloth. There's compartments for the kids' school baskets. And then we have cushions as well stored nice. underneath, which the kids love sitting on cushions. Mm -hmm. And the smaller kids get to pick one or two cushions and adults and use one. So Nice. Love it. <laughs> so yeah, this is our bed, our family crest. This is really important to our family. Keegan's, one of his family names is Hayden, according to his grandfather's family name was Hayden before adoption turned to Kellogg. So Hayden is our family crest and it's just really important to That's display neat. that. Verme and Foy means firm and faith. Cool. So that's really special. Mm -hmm. Was our wedding present. And then it just finding out it meant firm and faith is like wow it's really special. That's a great heritage. So Moving here, we have our baby set up for little Cedric. Little, little guy. He has his little bed, little basket of toys and stuff that he, as he collects. Mm -hmm. And then diapers and blankets. And, and you use cloth diapers? We do. Cl all cloth diapers mm -hmm. for both him and Owen's almost out of diapers, so that's wonderful. <laughs> and then we store the inserts down next to the bed for easy access at night. Right, and now this pulls out. Yeah, at nighttime, this lifts right out, and I just set it beside our bed so he sleeps on the floor beside us on his own little bed. Right, so you can so. easily take care of him at night. Nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. you that. So, moving here, we have Fiona's space. She has mm -hmm. her own bed, gets stored in this beautiful chest that her grandparents gave her, mm -hmm. and Looks like a little girl's space. Very much so. <laughs> little baby doll on the rocking chair. Yes, yeah, she's very particular how she likes it, and so mm -hmm. she has her own space with her own curtain again. Cool to down. Pull down. I love the curtain idea. It's so neat. One thing living in the tiny home we've started, we like did for our own family, was we made sure that each child has their own rug. Mm -hmm. because during the day it gives them their own space even though at night they have their bed set up it gets yeah. put away during the day so during the day playtime they have their own mat that they know that is their room their space their space no one else is allowed on there unless they invite them and so mm -hmm. we try to give them their own 
space <laughs> in the tiny space. Yeah. All right, continuing around the circle, we have our children's bookshelf. These are all books that are available for the younger children on up mm -hmm. and down below and over here are just their communal toys that they mm -hmm. play with, dress up and blocks and all of that. Mm -hmm. And then here we have our school shelf, their no touch zone, unless they have permission, <laughs> they know not to touch mama's school stuff. Mm -hmm. And where we do our preschool and all of that work with them. Right, Piona's already learning how to read. She is, she kind of started that on her own, wanting to learn how to read and so she's made great progress from that. So, mm -hmm. very proud of her. Yeah. We have Mama's rocking chair. Very comfy, looks like. <laughs> very well used. Very uh -huh. comfortable. And then coming around here is mostly storage right now of various mm -hmm. items. Daddy's rocking chair or a company chair, however it turns out. And then over here is my desk, my secretary desk, where I keep all of my papers and writing and all of that. Planning and lists exactly. and all that. <laughs> it all gets tucked in the desk uh -huh. and put away for future. I like storing things in baskets because it makes use of the hanging space. So we have pens and pencils in baskets. We have wool in baskets. Mm -hmm. We just have everything in baskets. Everything that we can makes it easy, accessible. Trying to avoid the men's solar array here. <laughs> Um, coming out, we're almost done. We have our entryway where the men were at first. We have kids jackets get hung up here, shoe rack, and sock basket. Nice. And we also put hats up there for mm -hmm. easy access on the way out. Yeah. Got kitties <laughs> below my feet. Kitties below my feet. Hey little ones. <laughs> This little guy is going to be our kitten soon, huh? You're almost ready to come down a little ways to the cabin. So this is our, what's called the Ursh, is that white panel back there. Not mm -hmm. sure how it will turn up on the camera, but that um, opens and closes. We have ropes on the outside that we just simply pull forward or pull back. Mm -hmm. And that either closes it, if it's raining, we'll close it. If it's beautiful weather like today, we'll just keep it full open or mostly open for ventilation and airflow. Yeah, it um, creates a nice breeze when you've got does, the front door it's open. It's a nice draft through. Mm -hmm. And usually our front door stays open unless it's really bad weather. Mm -hmm. And then rain or snow, we'll close it half, either halfway to the circle so we'll still get light in the other half of the panes or mm -hmm. we'll close it all the way if it's really heavy raining. Oh, and we almost forgot the, the cooks kind of like a cook stove right in right. the middle. <laughs> so in the very center we have our cook stove with some duck soup boiling away and hey we're making duck today too. Nice. <laughs> Not soup but duck. <laughs> so then you have our wood stove we use in the winter but for now we have the cook stove on top of it. Mm -hmm. It allows better ventilation of steam and yeah, it smells, moisture. It smells really good in here, by the way. <laughs> We're looking forward to it. The kids have been asking all day, is it ready yet? Is it ready? Uh -huh. No, you have to wait till dinner time. <laughs> Thanks for letting us take a tour of your place. I love your room. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Yeah, this has been so much fun. Thank you for letting us into your home. I know sometimes that can be a little bit intimidating, but <laughs> you've been so great. Thank you for... Um, given lots of people fun ideas for organization yeah. in small well, spaces. <laughs> feel free to sh email us questions or ask yes. away, but we're just happy to share. And if we can encourage people that small living isn't impossible, even with a big family, that's what we're here to do. Right. And people can find more information at your website. Our website is ouryurtifullife.com. And you can email at us at info at ouryurtifullife.com if you want to send us questions. Awesome. Don't bombard <laughs> Carrie and Kip with all the questions about our house and our tiny home. Save it for us. And that will save them some work. Thank you. <laughs> all right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the yurt tour. I know I did. Until next time, we pray blessings over you and yours. And whatever you do, do it with your whole heart.